Hey child and welcome back to my channel. Damn, one of my favorite people in the world has some hair products, y'all. And her name, y'all already know who. Cause I'm literally her number one fan. Even more than chance, no, I'm just playing. Anyway, I am a huge fan of her and that person is Auntie Tab, AKA Tabitha Brown. Y'all, Tabitha, y'all know she called her hair Donna. And now she got some Donna's recipe. She has some oils and things. And now she has actual hair products. And of course, I went on ahead and purchased it. So I, I got these little things right here. When I say little, I mean, little because they eight ounces but they are her sweet potato pie products so um she has a shampoo a conditioner a leave-in and then a cream style and i'm gonna be honest with you i probably cream style probably two or three times at that time it's not that often and so i knew i wasn't gonna use it outside of the video so i just stuck to the things that i hopefully get some real good use out of and that is these These three products that I have, so I do have the Extra Creamy Moisturizing Shampoo, the Extra Creamy Moisturizing Conditioner, and once again, it's Extra Creamy, oh so smooth, child, the Extra Creamy Leave-In Conditioner. So, uh, these products are made with real sweet potatoes, stirred with vanilla, sprinkled with warm cinnamon, perfect for nourishment and moisture in your hair and your scalp. All right, honey, that give you some good, wonderful things. So, I'll be honest, y'all know I love me some Tabitha Brown. I am obsessed with some Tabitha Brown. Not enough to go vegan, but I love some Tabitha Brown. But for this particular video, I'm no longer gonna say her name because I want to give a fair and honest review. So at this point, I'm only going to refer to these products as Donna's Recipe, and we are going to have a really honest situation. Now, if you are new here, first of all, this is all my hair. It is real long and beautiful. The lies, there you the go. Lies. I got in some clippings. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these clippings out. We're gonna come into these products and uh let's see what it's giving all right so i'm back with my real hair glory let's go ahead and get to this donna's recipe sweet potato pie extra creamy moisturizing shampoo is supposed to be rich and sweet not just rich but sweet now as far as the ingredients they say the sweet potatoes has beta carotene which helps cell growth and helps prevent dullness and then the cinnamon is supposed to help prevent buildup the vanilla has minerals to stimulate blood circulation all right honey now as far as the ingredients to the ingredient conscious free of parabens is color safe mineral oil free petroleum free and it does not have sulfates i do not see silicones in the ingredient list but again i'm not a stylist so do your googles find out for yourself all right now i do want to point out something that they have on here which is a tip that i ain't never heard of and it's just me being honest so they give you the basic instructions on how to wash your hair but then the tip right here on the bottle says for more effortless detangling while washing add donna's recipes extra creamy conditioner to your shampoo for ex for each use um i'll be honest i'm a little skeptical on that just because i'm just like mm, why why am i adding conditioner to my shampoo but I, yeah, i'm gonna give it an honest try so let me go ahead and wet my hair so i can apply this shampoo and we'll see uh what it's like and of course it's 100 percent vegan y'all know uh, y'all know what's happening don't fool with no animals all right shampoo time i'm out here looking like somebody's poodle let's get it together so this is the shampoo try it'll help if i take it all right, let's try this again. There we go. All right. It smells real good. It's not overly, like, overly scented, but you definitely smell it. Uh, so I'm going to rub it together and put it on my hair. Okay, so I'm not really... This is very thick on my hair. It'll help if I was at the sink with the water, but, you know, whatever. I'm not uh, too harsh on shampoos. All I'm looking for is, number one, get my hair clean, and number two, don't dry it out. So uh, I'm not going to spend too much time, you know, with the application because I really won't know what it feels like. It, it feels good. It, it, feels, it feels good. But I won't really know what my hair feels like until after I rinse it out. So I'm going to work this up a little more, and I'm going to do a second lather. I just wanted y'all to see me apply it and then i'm gonna come back and let you know what my hair is feeling like but on my hands right now it feels it it's it's i think i might like it and we are back so i have done two shampoos with this extra creamy moisturizing shampoo um here are my thoughts so far so uh did it strip my hair no it didn't um but do i feel like my hair is super moisturized like it says in the title i will be honest and say i do not i do feel like it is a moisturizing shampoo but what caught my attention was as i was working up the lather and then once i rinsed it out i'm like why, why my hair feel like it's getting tight like it's kind of you know a little, a little overlapping a little loop de loop and i looked at the ingredients this does actually have a hydrolyzed wheat protein and so so um, that's not quite something I really like in my moisturizer. 
moisturizer shampoos because for me when i use products that do have the protein in it i feel my hair tightening up and that's what i experience so i prefer that in my conditioners but definitely not in my shampoo stage so um that's just something i want to put out there it's just me being honest um it feels nice as a shampoo but it's not quite what i was expecting when i see moisturizing shampoo does that make sense yeah, okay let's get into the conditioner real quick all right so this is the extra creamy moisturizing conditioner um all the same stuff vegan no parabens it's color safe it's no mineral oils petroleum free and it doesn't have sls sles this one also has protein in it all right all right, all right. and don't get me wrong i'm not somebody who hates protein by far by by far at all but i look for that more so in my strengthening products not in my moisturizing products so that's just my personal preference so let me go ahead and pop this thing open oh honey look listen you, you see it it's thick yeah we like that oh as far as the instructions it says after shampooing smooth the conditioner down your hair concentrating on the ends rinse out yes very good yeah very good lock in moisture with our loc lco system because they do have a, a, a oil in a jar and then also the cream but again i didn't get either one of those because i know i wouldn't really use them in real life so let's go ahead and get into this conditioner yes lord now because this is not a treatment like this is not a deep treatment this is a rinse out conditioner i'm not gonna treat it like a deep treatment i ain't putting on no cap i'm not, not using no heat i'm gonna use it just like a rinse out so that i could know what to expect if i were to use it for that and gliding on it got a lot of slip that I, I i feels i feels the slippage okay yeah this feel good on my hair this this feel real good how long they say leave this on it doesn't say all right donna's recipe i need y'all give us instructions is this three to five minutes is it 10 minutes do we use a cap do we use some heat i need y'all to give us some instructions all right because i'm gonna make some up as i go now the texture of it makes it really easy to glide through the hair and it does have a lot of slip because they did not give me instructions i'm gonna make up on some on my own on the fly so since this is just a rinse out conditioner i'm gonna just let this sit for five minutes and i'm gonna rinse it out i'm not gonna put a cap on it or nothing like that because again i want to see what this does on its own without me tweaking it i wish they had gave us some instructions child but you know we we, we gonna make it work all right i'll be back it'll be five minutes in my time instantly for you be right back all right we're back i rinsed this thing on out First things first, this made my hair soft to the touch. Uh, definitely, definitely on the softening side. Um, I would also say though, just like with the shampoo, I felt like this was leaning more strengthening than it was moisturizing for me because my hair does feel soft, it does feel strong, but like that super moisturized feeling, I don't necessarily have that from the extra cream and moisturizing conditioner. I would want a little bit more. I'm not gonna be too hard on this because again, this is not a deep treatment. Like when I put the treatment on, put my, look, you know, my helmet of salvation, AKA my shower cap, get under the dry and let this luxuriate. That's not this type of party. This is a rinse out conditioner, so it just, it do that it just give you enough moisture to just bring your head back to life after the shampoo is not a deep treatment so i'm not gonna be hard on it but i would definitely say on a day where i need super moisture i would not reach for this i would use this like for me after a heat style or something like that then i would grab this because i feel like it gave more my hair more strength than it did moisture does that make sense in the words of auntie tab very good all right let's get into the last thing that i have which is the leave-in conditioner um now i got to do what i know to do with my leave-ins if you're new here how what's up how you doing the mama let me whisper in your ear all right so i like this little method that i do it's not new by far it's just something i personally enjoy i put a cap on top of my leave-in i don't care what the instructions say i'm always gonna put a cap on top because it just oh lord Child, I, I just got this stuff everywhere. All right. But here it is. Uh, it's actually on the runnier side. Uh, oh, it's very loose. Oh, child, this, this is giving Queen Helene lotion. All right, but anyway, I like to put a cap on top of my leave-in. It just it just makes my hair feel that much better. So if you ain't never did, I'm telling you not to try it. They'll tell you in the comments, I ain't lying, child. It make your hair feel good. Child, that sound like a fart. <laughs> Y'all know I usually use this big old cap named Samantha, but child, I done ran out. I didn't even know it, honey. So I'm gonna put a regular old shower cap, you know, regular degular schmegular. I'm gonna leave this on for five minutes. I'm gonna come back and tell you how my hair is feeling. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes, actually. Let's go ahead and 
Okay, yeah, that feel good. I, I get it. That, that feel good, child. Okay, so let me put my cap back on um, because I did not get the styler. So um, yeah, let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, so overall concerning the Donna's recipe line, the shampoo uh, is not what I expected. That don't mean it's not good. It's just not what I expected. When you tell me moisturizing shampoo, I'm thinking heavy on the moisture. I don't care nothing about the strengthening. Just give me moisture. This gave me strengthening that I wasn't looking for. I, I would, If I could do anything, I would take down the strengthening element to me and make it a little bit more moisturizing. It's moisturizing. Don't get me wrong. It does have moisture, but I want more because of how it was marketed. The same thing for the conditioner. It is moisturizing, but I want more. Um, the leave-in, I ain't got no complaint at all. I really, really like this leave-in, 100%. Um, it's just the shampoo and the conditioner is good. Just ramp it up, wrap that moisture up. You say extra cream and moisturizing. I want the extra. You understand what I'm saying? So, so would I use it again? Absolutely, definitely on the um, the strengthening shampoo days. Cause sometimes I want moisture, sometimes I want strength. You got to keep that thing balanced on out. So when I'm looking for strengthening, that's what I would reach for. But because this is marketed as a moisturizing collection, for me it needs a little bit more moisture. Now I do love me to tab at the honey, y'all know that. That's my gal, but I just gotta be honest with y'all. It's moisturizing, but for me, in my experience, I just need to, I need y'all to take it up a little bit more. So, anyway, we don't have nothing else to say. I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair. I didn't style it in this video because I'm not using a Donna's recipe styler, so I'm like, I ain't even gonna do that to you. Let's just focus on Donna and her recipe, and I'll deal with the styling in another video. So, with that being said, that is it. For me, if y'all have any questions, leave them down below. I love y'all. Maki Zaza, and I'm out this piece. Bye. Very good.